When we started the Ingnava's African Genome Challenge, we were confident that researchers in Africa have great projects and we never doubted receiving interesting and well thought submissions, as we have. We are now in the voting stages of the competition and we will share how the process will unfold at the end of the video. It's time to get those campaigns going. All videos received will be shared on our YouTube channel under the different categories, which are vertebrates, invertebrates and microbes, metagenomics, plants, East Africa and West Africa. We encourage viewers to watch all the videos, then you can vote to choose which one you think is best to win under the respective category. Having established our first subsidiary in Kenya in the year 2010, Ingaba Biotech has since been providing our services to researchers in East Africa. We are very excited to receive such beautiful submissions from this region. Here are projects from East Africa. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Vitu Sisilago, medical scientist and the assistant research fellow in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology at the Catholic University of Health and Allied Sciences located in Mwanza, Tanzania. In Mwanza, Tanzania, about 40% of neonates develop sepsis. And the majority since day one of their life and among those prematurely delivered. About 50% of bacteria known to cause sepsis in neonates are gram-negative bacteria which are resistant to multiple antibiotics. Accounting for 34.5% to 55% mortality rate. I have three Acinetobacter species which are phenotypically similar. The three Acinetobacter species, one, the first one was isolated from neonate bed, the second one from neonate blood, and the third one was also isolated from neonate blood. The three Acinetobacter species are extensive drug resistance, showing only susceptibility to amicacin and choristin. I would like to sequence these Acinetobacter species so as to determine their genetic relatedness and any possibility of cross transmission. So from this information, we can recommend appropriate and effective measures of infection prevention and control at this unit. Thank you. Priscilla Kimani from Kenya and uh, I would like to sequence the genome of this tree right here. This tree is scientifically known as Osiris lanceolata. Locally we call it the East African sandalwood. Many may have seen it in the newspapers because of its illegal logging. In Kenya there is a presidential ban on logging of Osiris because for the major part it is harvested from the wild sources. The population in Kenya, we have not yet domesticated sandalwood and for this reason many uh, research institutions in Kenya have come up together to work on domesticating it for commercial cultivation. Its wood is highly valuable, it is traded internationally uh, for its essential oils which produce uh, oils that are used in the manufacture of perfumes and fragrances. Why I would like to, uh, to, to sequence the genome of this species is because it will not only contribute to the uh, domestication efforts uh, but also to the conservation of the few remaining um, populations in the world. Hello, I'm Lorraine Nanjala Nyangesa. I'm pursuing a doctorate degree in genetics at the University of Nairobi in Kenya. I'm working on some interesting bacteria of the Xenohabdas genus. Uh, the bacteria together with their nematode hosts attack and kill insects and utilize the dead insect. Um, and they do this by producing enzymes, toxins, and antimicrobials. 
My project seeks to harness these components of their life cycle and this is in the wake of uh, superbugs that plague hospital and community infections as well as insect pests uh, both local and invasive that threaten food security in Africa. Um, sequencing the genomes of uh, these Xenohabdus bacterial isolates will help us understand the genetic diversity in our region. My samples are from Kenya, as well as identify and hopefully discover genes responsible for producing insect toxins and antimicrobials that can be useful both in the agricultural and, and health sectors. So the goal uh, of this is to use biotechnology for biocontrol. Thank you very much. My name is Osod Milanzi. I am a postgraduate student at University of Dar es Salaam, pursuing a Master of Science in Molecular Biology. My project aims at identifying and characterizing cannabis species from the selected regions in Tanzania. Over the centuries, cannabis has been cultivated and used by mankind as a source of medicine and fibers worldwide. However, due to psychoactive compound from cannabis, the cultivation of cannabis has been prohibited in many countries. Though an illegal cultivation and trafficking of cannabis still exist in such countries, including Tanzania. But the cultivated cannabis plants are not known for their molecular identity, neither their geographical origin. For that reason, I would like to participate in this challenge offered by an incubator so that I can generate nucleated sequences for cannabis species available in Tanzania to generate partial sequences as a representative of cannabis genotype for molecular identification of cannabis species and to establish potential species available for pharmaceutical and fiber industrial application. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for staying with us. Now that you've watched all the videos from our applicants, let's discuss on how you can vote. On the comment section below, we have included the project's names from all our applicants in this insert, so you can simply vote by liking your favorite project. Don't worry, if you missed the project's name, we have also included the video number so you can go double check to see if you voted correctly. This process is open to everyone and we have no limits on the people who can vote for you. You're welcome to invite your colleagues, friends or family to vote for your project, of course, by liking it on our comment section. Voting will be open for the next three weeks and we will announce winners shortly after the closing date and the samples will be collected for sequencing on our PAC Bio system. This has been a lovely journey for the Ingaba Biotech team and we hope you enjoyed it too. We wish you all the best in the Ingaba's Africa Genome Challenge. See you at the winner's table. Goodbye.